Good morning, everyone. You're welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today, Thursday, the 10th of March, 2022. I'm Ken Demadjokudumi. Open Heavens is authored by Adadin the Lord Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Vassia of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you because for being good to us. Thank you for all that you do in our lives. Thank you for all that you represent in our lives. We say, blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as we learn at your feet again today, Father, teach us. Speak to us. Give us understanding of your word. Expand your word in our heart and let your word profit us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic for today is Number Your Days, Part 2. Number Your Days, Part 2. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Joshua 1, Joshua 13, verse 1. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years, and the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. Our Bible reading is taken from the same Joshua 13, verse 1 to 6. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years, and the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. This is the land that yet remaineth all the borders of the Philistines and all Geshurim, from Sihor, which is before Egypt, even unto the borders of Ekron northward, which is counted to the Canaanites, five lords of the Philistines, the Gazatites and the Ashdodites, the Eshkalonites, the Gittites, and the Ekronites, also the Avites, from the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and Mira, that is beside the Sidonians, unto Afek, to the borders of the Amorites, and the land of the Gilblites, and all Lebanon, towards sunrise, from Baghdad, under Mount Hammon, unto the entering into Hamath. All the inhabitants of the hill country, from Lebanon unto Misrephotamia, and all the Sidonian, them will I drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites for an inheritance, as I have commanded thee. May the Lord bless the reading of his words in our heart in Jesus' name. Amen. The message. Yesterday, we started to discuss numbering our days. And we discover that there are a lot of lessons in counting our days as we do it properly. Today we shall see one profound example of a person who did not achieve all that God asked him to do within the time given to him, Joshua. When Joshua had grown quite old and the Lord gave him his performance scorecard. And this is the food for thought for all of us today. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years and the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. Joshua 13 verse 1. This was a divine assessment. This is because the righteous judge was the one giving the verdict. To what extent have you achieved those goals you set for yourself before you newly became born again? The Lord reminded Joshua that these days of departure were near, and yet there was much land yet to be possessed. You may not be a pastor, but there are many souls around you yet unsaved. Oh, I am not called to be an evangelist, you may say, but to read what the Bible is saying to an early church bishop and now to you today. But thou in all things endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. 2 Timothy 4 verse 5. You were planted in the body of Christ for specific assignment and it is taking you a very long time to start, not to talk of accomplishing it. You think you have the whole eternity to perform it? No, I appeal to you to settle down and execute your divinely ordained ass assignment. It may not be a pulpit assignment, but it is a divine assignment nevertheless. That business given to you may be so as to give God a befitting sanctuary in your local assembly. Yet, even five years running, the building is still at the lintel level, whereas you are multiplying the number of your factories all over the place. Remember, do the work of the Lord now whilst it is still day, because 
When the night come, when you are old and not as strong as you used to be, it will be too late to walk. John 9 verse 4. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we are continuing with the topic of yesterday, number your days. And this is the part two. Like we learned yesterday, we're told that whenever, when the Lord teaches us to number our days, it will compel us to apply our hearts unto wisdom. And we're told of several lessons we can learn from numbering our days. That is several wisdom that numbering our days will apply our hearts to. And one of it was that we'll be able to evaluate our lives, to understand our goals, to understand our purpose, and to know where, what level we are. Have we achieved it? What is it that we should do? To what extent and what level are we? It also helps us to appreciate God. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. Today, from the Bible reading we have read, we can see the account of a particular person who did not achieve all that God has asked him to do within the stipulated time and time was running out so the lord gave him showed him his performance scorecard and it was clear that he had not achieved as much as he should and that is in the person of joshua the lord told him the lord said and now joshua was old and stricken in years so he's with when his num his days was numbered it was obvious that he had he was old in years and he, had, he was stricken but the, and the Lord said unto him that thou art old and stricken in years, there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. Yes, as as his life is being evaluated, as his life is being assessed, it is obvious that there is still so much for him to do. You know, and like Adadi as I said, is a food for thought for every one of us today. I do not know what level you are. Maybe your life is not old. You are still at the early stage. So that you won't get to a point where your life will be old and streaking and there will still be so much more to do. So can we also evaluate ourselves? If God gives us our own performance scorecard, what do you think you would have? What do you think your performance will look like? It is time also to evaluate our lives, to learn from the lesson of the Bible reading today to evaluate our lives and look at it, that that divine assess, assignment that the Lord has given unto me, to what level have I performed it? Have I done it as I should? You know, have I actually started it? Like Adadi said, he said, there are a lot of people that have not even started the assignment that the Lord has given unto them, not to talk of achieving it. So that goal, when you gave your life to Christ, there might be so many things that you wanted to do in the vineyard of God. You want maybe they are maybe you, to work for God, and you are still not. You have not even started, or for eventually you have started, but you are not giving it the, the needed, the required attention. You are not diligent to it. This is another opportunity in numbering our days, in applying wisdom. It helps us to do what to assess our life. To look at that assignment that the Lord has given unto us. For every one of us, like we have been told, you do not need a you do not need to be a pastor or an evangelist to answer to the call of God. As many that are children of God, we have been called for an assignment according to the book of Mark 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So are you preaching the gospel to every creature? In what way are you are you ensuring that the the, the 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 preaching of the Lord is going into all the earth? In what way are you doing it? In what way are you working to ensure that yes, the gospel of the world, Lord is heard everywhere? Praise the Lord, Hallelujah! Like our daddy said, he said, are there still many souls around you that are yet unsaved? The book of Second Timothy four verse five made us understand that. But watch thou in all things. Endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, and make full proof of thy ministry. As children of God, we all have ministry to preach the word of God. Are you making full proof of that ministry? In fact, are you even making a proof of the ministry? Not to talk of making full proof of it. He says we should endure affliction. For adventure, oh, you don't have the time. Oh, you would have been a worker in the vineyard of God. You would have sown your seed. You would have been part of the project. But you are giving excuses. We are told that we should endure affliction. And we should do the work of evangelism. Because you and I have been called unto it as long as we are children of God. So that just as you, are, you have been saved, as I have been saved, others too can be saved. I pray in the name of Jesus that the grace 
to do the work of an evangelist and make a full proof of that ministry, the Lord will give unto you and I in Jesus' name. And as we assess our lives, as we number our days, at to what extent can I can you actually say that you have done the work of an evangelist like you should? And how many souls have you won for God? How many are you planning to work? What are your strategies? I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We're also told that as we have been planted into the body of Christ, we have been planted for specific assignment, which means that the assignment the Lord has given unto me is different from the assignment he has given unto you. He knows all our names. He knows us. He knows the number of our air. He knows when you gave your life to Christ. And he has given you assignment. That assignment that he has given you, is it taking you time for you to start? Or you have not even started, not to talk of accomplishing it. This is the time because we do not have eternity. Even if you are going to live 120 years here on earth, it is still numbered. One day, one day, it will all be over. And another thing is that you are also getting older. And we, as we get older, the strength is also going down. So it is time to make a well the sun shine. It is time to do the work of God and do it early. Like we were told yesterday, we're compelled to work harder and faster as the work of the master demands urgency. So it is time to be diligent to work that specific assignment he has given unto you. Work harder and do it as fast as possible because the work of the master demands urgency. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We appeal the Lord, just as our daddy is appealing to us, I'm also appealing to you that we should settle down, evaluate your life. If you do not know the specific assignment, pray unto God to give you. By adventure, you have been drawn towards a particular department. By adventure, you have been drawn towards a particular project that will propagate the kingdom of God. That is your assignment. Why don't you go for it? Why don't you evaluate your life? Settle down, like our daddy said. Settle down and assess your life. Give it an assessment and it's so that you can execute your divinely ordained assignment. I pray that the capacity to execute our divinely ordained assignment with a full proof, a full proof the Lord will give unto you and I in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Like I had also told us in conclusion that we should remember to do the work of the Lord while it is still day because when the night comes when you are old and not as strong as you used to be it will be too late to work the work of the master i pray that for you and i it will not be too late for us that we would die we would have exhausted when the time will be over when the, when we will be stricken and old and it will be time for us to depart this world we would have exhausted our talent in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That we will die empty in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The prayer point, Father, please teach me to evaluate my life and give me wisdom to fulfill my destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being part of the review for today. God bless you. Amen.